Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Hlect Infrared Thermometer. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what the heck is an infrared, infrared thermometer? Infrared thermometer? Oh my god, I can't even say it, let alone unbox it. Um, this is a thermometer with a wide range of uses. Now, mostly you're probably used to seeing a thermometer where you get sick and your spouse or your mum or whatever comes along, puts the thermometer in your mouth and says, no, you're too hot, you can't go to school. Yeah. But this is very different. This uses a laser to read temperatures. Now, uh, it reads temperatures between minus 50 centigrade, that is, to uh, plus 550 centigrade. Now, that is minus 58 Fahrenheit or 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you can measure a wide range of uh, heat sources or cold sources depending on what your preference is. Now, this is going to be useful for people in um, different lines of work, be it mechanics for engine temperatures or thermostat temperatures, that kind of thing. Um, if you're working with electrics, you can see if a switch is getting hot, etc. Or if you're uh, like me, you're an unboxer and you're looking at temperatures of different things like uh, power supplies or cooling fans, you can use this to gain a pretty accurate range of temperatures on the devices you're testing. Let's take a look inside the box and see what we actually get for our money. And speaking of money, this at the moment is retailing on Amazon for about £10. Uh, it fluctuates price-wise from about £10 to £15 on this particular model. There's other very similar ones. Um, I would imagine they're all of a very similar nature, but this particular one, the Collect one, is the one I'm going to review. Not much of an unboxing, more of a uh, unripping or something. So, what do we get in the box? Okay, first of all, you get a manual, which tells you what it can and can't do and how to read it, etc. Obviously, this is a laser, so don't try and measure the temperature of your eyeballs, or as you will probably go blind. And that goes the same for pets, etc., etc. Um, also, in the box, you get a lifetime warranty card. Now, that's uh, quite unusual, but you can register your warranty by going to the website and uh, putting your details in, you get your warranty. Simple as that. Now, unusually, as with most things that come out of, uh, actually, before I say it, yep, made in China, rarely do you get a battery, but batteries are included in this particular model, so that's pretty cool. Although, I might need a knife or something to get it out. My teeth will do the job just as well. So, there we go. There is the uh, thermometer. So, at the front is the laser end. Obviously, when that's on, don't look at it. Very bad for you. And on the back, you've got different controls for um, temperature readings. I don't even know what that is. Oh, there's a yellow button there which changes between centigrade and Fahrenheit. So, if you're in the US, you want to use Fahrenheit. Great, if you're in the uh, UK or Europe, you want to use centigrade, you can use either, it's not a problem. So, let's put the battery in and see what it does. Now this is just going to be a simple unboxing and quick look. I am going to be doing more detailed uh, results with this thing when I'm testing some motherboards and heat sinks in the uh, coming video, so keep an eye out for those. Right, there we go, that's it, I guess that is how it works. I uh, don't know how you turn it on, maybe oh, pull the trigger and it comes on. So you've got a nice little illuminated Illuminated, illuminated display, which uh, turn it on and you get a display and that will soon turn off after a few seconds so you haven't got to worry about it flattening the battery, you don't have to take the battery out. Um, and also it gives you an idea, actually on the side tells you details about how to read temperatures etc and what it will and won't do, but we don't really care about that. All we want to do is point it at stuff and see how hot or cold it is. So this beer here I've uh, just got, is it a cold one, is it a warm beer? Dangerous, let's find out. Now, currently that beer is it. I don't know if you can pick that up. Go that, that beer is roughly 23 degrees, so that is virtually undrinkable. So that has to go back to the fridge immediately. So that is a brief overlay, overlay of how it works and what you do. I don't think it could be much more simple, actually. Let's see what that is in Fahrenheit out of interest. So you press the button, yeah, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're drinking beer, that is not a good temperature for beer. So. Let's try out some other things around the house and uh, see what temperatures we can get. Now, before we get too carried away and go around the house and start scanning everything and anything, um, I thought to myself, wonder if it would scan a human. So let's try it. 33 degrees. 
So I'm still alive, that's pretty good. So I don't know whether you're actually meant to do that. Let's see if Calf's still alive. Yep, 33 degrees, so I guess we're both the same temperature. Let's try a wall. 24 degrees centigrade, so I guess that's pretty good. And actually, that is a very good use of what this can do. So if you've got a problem with uh, cold or damp in your house, you could scan the walls at different places and see if there's a temperature difference in the wall, because if there is a temperature difference, that's generally where you've got moisture in the wall. So that's a good thing that you, that you could use this for. A surveyor would come out to your house and probably charge you a couple of hundred pounds or I don't know, hundreds of dollars to do that, whereas you could pick one of these up and just do basic tests for yourself. So that's actually a really good thing you could do with one of these. Very handy to have uh, around the house. So let's try and find some more things to scan. And uh, yeah, let's find some skin. <laughs> let's find some things to scan. Wow, whose teeth have I got in today? Okay, so here we have, here's a, a nice warm log burner, or stove, or whatever you call it in your country of origin. So let's see how hot the temperature is. Now currently it says on the front there that the, uh, well the glass temperature at the front, I don't know whether it penetrates to the fire itself, but that's uh, 370 degrees centigrade, so that's pretty good. And actually on the top of the fire here, I've got a, uh, a stove temperature monitor, which is like an old-fashioned one, which re relies on a sort of bimetallic strip in a, in a quilt. And that is currently saying about 370, 375. So this is pretty accurate. I'm quite impressed with that. And just as a comparison, let's have a look on the, uh, the actual stove pipe. Now, the outside of the stove pipe is about 200 degrees, which I guess is about right for the outside. Not bad. And the walls here should be warmer than the wall that was over there. And the wall is currently about 30, yeah, about 38 degrees. So obviously it's proven a point that this wall is actually a lot warmer than the wall at the other side of the room, which it should be. So let's find something else to scan. Okay, so we're testing out other things in the house with this uh, crazy little uh, infrared thermometer. So the walls in the other room we're about 24 degrees and by the fire it was about 38 degrees. Now in here it's a lot colder because we haven't been in here for, well, today. So let's measure the temperature of the wall. And that's about 21.9 degrees, 22 degrees. So it's about two or three degrees cooler in here than what it is in there, just the wall temperature alone. So again, that's a good way of finding out if your room has got any kind of damp or moisture or whatever or wherever it's not being heated properly. If you want to keep your house at a constant temperature throughout, you could probably use this to adjust your radiators so they're all at the right temperature. So that's another good thing you can do. So uh, what else can we do? Let's try the angel on the Christmas tree, which is actually calf. Mm, unfortunately, she isn't hot stuff. She's only 22 degrees, so she's about as warm as a brick. Radiator is currently about 27 degrees, so the heating is not on at the moment, so it's just uh, cooling down. So, again, another good way of finding out what temperatures are. What else can we try? I know, let's try some fire. Okay, so we're in the kitchen, and here's the, the, uh, the cooker, which is filthy at the moment, because I haven't cleaned it, but never mind. So, this burner, currently about 21, 21 degrees, so it's about ambient temperature for the rest of the house, so let's turn it on. Turn the right one on. Okay, so that's with the burner on, so let's get a reading of the temperature now. And there you go, you can see the, uh, the temperature raising. Oh, and dropping. Let's give it a few seconds. And there you go, you can see the temperature's uh, getting hotter on that plate. So again, a pretty good little device to use around the home. Uh, especially you know, when you're cooking, maybe on a barbecue, something like that. Get a temperature of your barbecue, make sure it's all perfect for your meat. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's the Helect infrared thermometer, available from Amazon and I guess eBay and all those other sorts of places. But quite a useful little tool to have around the house and I'm definitely quite pleased with this. That's about it. If you've got any questions or uh, any comments on this video, put them in the comment section below. But I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.